Why does a business exist? Is it solely to make a profit? Or should employees, communities, and the environment benefit too? My name is Dr. Ranjay Gulati. I am a professor at the Harvard Business School, and I've spent the last several years teaching and researching purpose-driven management in hopes of revolutionizing the role of business in society. I am on a mission to speak with today's business leaders who are working to implement real change and pursue true purpose. Public trust in institutions and in business is at an all-time low. And yet the presence of trust is vital for businesses to perform at their best. To discuss how purpose might help instill more trust in companies, I sat down with Kevin Johnson, CEO of one of the world's most trusted companies, Starbucks. I wanted to start with your personal purpose. But I think personal and organizational purpose go hand in hand. Uh, and I wanted to kind of understand how that plays for you. Many people will ask, you know, how, how did someone who spent 32 years in the tech industry end up running a coffee company? You know, several years ago, uh, I was diagnosed with, with melanoma, with cancer. And so I decided at that moment, I would only do things that are joyful with people I love. That experience in my life really reshaped how I think about my purpose and how my purpose led me to this uh, great opportunity and privilege to lead the Starbucks Coffee Company. We're not just creating opportunities, we are creating equal opportunities. Did you feel that people at Starbucks work, come to work with that sense of personal purpose, that I'm, this is more than a job? Yeah, you know, when I started visiting stores around the world and, you know, and I would spend time doing round tables with our Starbucks partners, we call everyone that works for Starbucks a partner. It didn't matter what continent I was on, what language they spoke, what religion they practiced, that those stories had this one thing in common that I call the human experience. And in every case, there was this emotional connection to the mission of Starbucks, to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, one neighborhood at a time. It's that emotional connection uh, to humanity that we all share. I've seen a lot of companies who talk about what I would call are pursuing convenient purpose, meaning I'll do it if it's easy and convenient for me, you know, but actually making hard trade-offs where you are CEO, quarterly pressures, public company. The purpose-driven mission, you know, ought to be, has to be something that's authentic to the leaders and authentic to the company. You know, Starbucks was founded on this belief that our purpose was more than just the pursuit of profit. When it came to, uh, you know, to providing our part-time partners uh, healthcare benefits, Starbucks stepped up and did that. As COVID-19 is spreading, when we closed all of our stores except through drive throughs we paid all of our partners, whether they stayed home or whether they chose to come to work. Those are examples of how doing the right thing, even when it's hard, builds trust. Starbucks had a challenging incident in Philadelphia in 2018 when two black men were wrongly accused of loitering at Starbucks store while waiting for a business meeting. And this moment turned out to be uh, an incredibly important moment uh, at Starbucks. You know, we work to create a warm, welcoming environment in our stores for every customer that visits Starbucks. And on that day in Philadelphia, we failed. If you look at, at, at some of these racial inequities and injustices, you look and say, these happen in the world, but this happened in a Starbucks. And it happened in a Starbucks, and I'm accountable. I think if you approach it from that perspective where, look, I'm gonna make the best decisions I can, but I'm gonna stay true to our purpose and our culture, and I'm gonna be intentional, I'm gonna be transparent and accountable, that will serve any company well. We then announced that we are we are going to close all of our stores uh, in in May for an afternoon of training around racial bias, unconscious bias, inclusion, and that began you know a broader set of work that we continue to this day. Do you think, in some ways, that this Philadelphia moment and the response that you led? may in some ways reaffirm that sense of purpose that, you know, let's, let's remind ourselves, why are we here in the first place? Yeah, no question. Values are tested at times of adversity. If you make the decision and do the right thing, even if it's hard, it's true to those values, it builds trust, it builds belief. 
and it reinforces the mission that we stand for, our purpose, and it reinforces the values, our culture. And purpose and culture are at the center of everything we do. For all companies, including purpose-driven ones, trust is fragile and must be continuously nurtured. In my quest to find purpose-driven companies for my book, I interviewed over a hundred leaders across many organizations. One thing has become clear. Purpose represents a fundamental reorientation of capitalism, one that is essential for the planet, its people, and for companies. I hope that we as a society continue to ask hard questions of corporations and that together we strive for a more purposeful future. Thank you for joining me on my quest for purpose in the business world.